what's going on beautiful people in today's video i'm going to be going over how i easily and quickly create crystals in blender for ev rendering let's go ahead and add a cylinder and you can just follow along and change the vertices to eight and you can change the cap fill to triangle fan okay now i'm just going to adjust the cylinder so that we have just some basic orientation i enjoy this is based on personal preference so you don't have to follow along here now we can tap into edit mode and select the top vertice and pull that up and just go ahead and adjust the cylinder to the shape of the crystal you wish crystals come in different shapes and sizes mostly random but i mean the symmetrical ones are actually prettier but you can go ahead and change this to any way you wish i'm just going to adjust mine to have a little bit of randomness but a controlled version of it All right, now we can go into the modifiers tab and we're going to add our first modifier, which is the bevel. Now, don't forget to subscribe as we go on. Uh, now, the bevel, we can reduce the amount and play with the settings on settings until you have uh, sort of the results you're looking for. I play with the settings a lot so I can get what I want. Something sharp, but the edge being soft but still sharp enough for you to see each uh, edge. Are we still rendering or are we still recording? Let's go ahead. Okay, so play with this as much as you want. And I think this looks good for now. So we're going to going to go ahead to move on to where the actual magic happens let's go ahead and open up our materials panel and add a new material i'm going to go into the viewport shading simply because it has uh, hdris already and i don't want to add environment textures another reminder to subscribe to subscribe guys do well to hit that red subscribe button down there and ring the notification bell so let's go ahead and change the color and change the roughness bring it all the way down i think i went more specific with 0.1 yes now some important things let's go ahead and increase the ior to two and the transmission to one okay and you can see some results already now we can modify this further by going down and hitting screen space refraction. And we can go into the render properties and enable screen face screen space reflection and enable the refraction there as well. And doesn't that just look pretty guys? So you can play with the settings as much as you want. I changed the blend mode, but that didn't do much in my opinion. Uh, I like the result we ended up with so go ahead and watch how I continue to play with environment textures while I go ahead and make you subscribe all right guys so I'm going to be releasing videos every week I believe two videos every week so do well to subscribe to get notified to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time I release a new video and uh that is basically it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.